Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. This is Kurt the Boat Doctor here. Listen to the radio. My God, if I don't have it in this truck, I can't be fixed. I got to bring it back. So always get prepared, you know, have yourself a, a battery jumper and uh, extra keys and all that good stuff. So when you get down here, you don't have to run back home. Anyway, this is my, one of my favorite boats, especially going out tuna fishing. Uh, anything, bottom fish, river, bay, lake, it's tw 22 foot, all right? 22.5, uh, actually a total length on this is about 27, 28 feet. Uh, I think uh, total um, weight, boat motor trailer is like 5,500 uh, pounds right in there. Um, it's uh, you got a 300 on it. You got this Garmin uh, Phantom. That's a dual range radar on that. Uh, let me see. I think dry weight is four, but you don't. You really want to go out for the main weight when you're doing this. You got the heavy tubes. You got. Uh, I think there's one. There's one. There's two. There's three. One, two, three. Yeah. Three, I think three chambers might be even five on this one here. But this boat is awesome. I mean, you got this 300. You can put actually a 225 and they do damn near just as good. Uh, just if you really got the weight, that that 300. Uh, you know, under 225. Hell, man, I'm, I'm telling you, I've had some of those actually a little faster. Uh, got big, big uh, straights. They call them lifting straights down there. It's a 79 gallon fuel tank. And these things are very, very, very fuel efficient. Uh, you'll find that out then you can cruise probably 35 3800 about 30 miles an hour and how often are you going to do that out in the ocean uh like i say minimum is 225 300 is max on the horsepower on this extra long shaft um spare tire carry carrier uh, i got the delta anchor i got the windless winch spool that's the way to go so yeah the spool winch is like it's down into here uh, they're the they're the better ones if you if you can uh the reason is is uh the rope don't pull up and just get to be a big mess like if it drops in an anchor box and there's your anchor drain right down there uh they'll they'll get all clever so when you let the anchor out you got big knots in your line with spools that just wraps it up and you can get more line on there they also got spider cable you can run on those uh we do need a cap for this this is how you check your brake fluid. I did add some brake fluid to this when I left. Yep, she's still full. It was just down a hair. Uh, you got the chain to always cross those things. Two inch ball with a big screw hole so you know when it's down on the ball if you see that. Two inch. Uh, standard clip, get a padlock for that. Get a padlock for your stinger. And if this had a swing tongue, get a padlock for that. There's two speed jack on this thing with the shift lock. Uh, that's nice actually you got a little scratch right here that they can touch up i think you got one that just tiny you can't even see it but it's up there uh cleats large large big tube welded rails see these don't give you get a lot of boats are bolted on or they're just puny little rails you lean on them the suckers could break and there you go uh this ain't the trailer that goes with the boat it's going to have a custom aluminum trailer so i'm not going to go through the trailer too much uh, again it's got the g3 tubing you got one you got two basically three you got these reverse chines on here with this right here the flat part that's going to keep the boat stable them straights right here that's going to help lift but it also keeps it tracking and this has got the arrow design it's like an arrow and on the back as well i'll show you that's what gets you to turn you can turn this on a dime you know and you can't do that with many boats and back up you don't get water coming over the back of the boat but anyway what this does that lip there that catches when you're coming down air pockets so it's like an air cushion when it comes down but these boats can take some bad bad water i mean uh and they don't breach they don't tailspin they don't lean to the side you don't the front end doesn't uh, dive down coming in if you get hit from the right or left coming in on some big 10 13 footers um yeah they're pretty impressive and like i say the fuel economy is awesome and they got the preflex that's you like that that's where these are bent so these are chambered plus the main hole so they're virtually unsinkable you got your gas vent here your ladder uh gt51 transducer there's your air chambers one two so it's got three chambers and then you've got your main drain there your floor drain right there up above so make sure you always check that one uh, you can pull that one out when you get home you shouldn't have to pull these other ones but once 
once a month it wouldn't hurt to pull those just to make sure you should hear a poof of air coming out but no water should be coming out those bottom ones uh, and this is the 300 all yamaha from this 99 up our salt water protected uh, these 300s, any of them 225, basically your 250s and 300s are spool up. When you turn the key, you can just turn it. They just automatically go on and fire up. You don't really have to hold the key. Uh, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, both of these stainless steel. And anytime you go to, uh, uh, say, a, a V6 in line, the gear case has changed. They get bigger and heavier. So the, uh, the stainless can handle these gear cases. Uh, not only that, but go to the Yamaha Saltwater like this one is, Saltwater Series 2. Uh, you're going to get a lot less vibration and pick up speed. There is a big difference in stainless, the way they pitch them and they cut them. And some of you can feel how sharp they are. Uh, special two coats of primer, two coats of clear main paint. Same thing, internal zincs, every cylinder zinc on the block. Zinc up under here. And remember them torque fins that come down? You really don't need it. Uh, with these the holes have changed so much nowadays okay when you mount a transducer make sure on if you get a bracket you mount it as low as you can towards you know into the motor instead of on the outside because if you're on the outside you're getting up on top you're just going to eat air so this will read at a higher speed uh, kicker motor like I say 99 fuel here I put in 27 gallons got tuna tubes right here you catch the little ones jam them in there uh, keep them for the yellow fin um you got the little table the drawer right there pole holders pole holders deck lights got two instead of one got the casting gps antenna i gotta calibrate that uh cleats again uh, oh got this yeah highly recommended now if you're gonna get one of these and everybody's doing it they're getting a self-deployed trevas or trovas or whatever you want to call them uh order the boat with this i would probably you know if it was me I, even if i did not order that just in case down the road you wanted to you could use this for different options too you could put a little mini cooler on here if you wanted to you know if you're out and like to fish out the front you could put like a mini cooler for a fish box uh dual wipers tilt the leaning forward window which is good uh, good visibility through the whole boat and then uh, i do two videos actually i do the one walk around and i should do three but i just don't have the time in the summer i want to go through all the electronics like from start to finish on each brand because basically if you get a simrad all simrads 10s 12s they're all going to be the same lawrence uh then garmin's easy they're one of the easiest i like garmin uh, they're bulletproof they got better reception they're faster they got auto guidance uh so they got a lot of good features on the garmin and this slide door here is up front i'll show you that and here's the breakers he's even got them uh labeled actually that was really nice so whoever rigged this i bet you tom did got your max uh, uh reset here uh relay so if you're not going to use that windlass i'd probably hit that that would kill the power up front so if someone hit that switch by mistake it ain't going to go down in the ground for you and this did have the turnbuckle you should probably on that anchor up front uh you should probably right here i'll show you real quick and the belting here is missing i don't know if they knew that but this right here i would run either and that's what this thing here is for actually on some of these if this would have been up higher you could have ran this through to lock this in you should probably get something like a you know what would you call those a ratchet strap or something and either go from here or from from here it doesn't matter and go to one of these cleats uh to hold it so when you're going down the highway or if you're not using that if that slips but spools normally won't do that the type this has okay and it's got c star and this has got the cable for the kicker instead of that uh little metal tie bar that always corrodes and rusts on you got stainless steel pole holders cup holders tackle holders lights up underneath i'll show you those in a second wash down here's your door here's a play table you can add on uh, accessories to that like a depth finder you got your deck deck wash you got your bait tank that's how you turn the water flow to them or shut them off so this one you'd probably turn the other way to keep water because if you're going down the water and that's like that that water's gonna i smell diesel ah. as they smell spill gas 
Anyway, here's a shutoff valve, Seacock, if you get water coming in. Oh, they must have spilled gas back here when they put this filter on. That's that smell I'm smelling. Yeah, they definitely did. So then I got a prime these primer bulbs. And then you open this up, there's your battery charger, your dual battery, did a good job with the relays in there. And I like to switch out there. You know, I like this flooring. Uh, jump seats, these fold up. And that's kind of nice they did it all in one instead of just having like one, both of them just flip up independently. Uh, and you need to clean inside, get some of these spots off. Sliding windows. Okay, what I did notice, this light ain't working here. I gotta go out and set up that antenna, set this for AIS to this. And then there's a spare transom uh, lights, which you don't have, okay. So I gotta turn these on, which is right here. Okay, this here yellow one, don't use unless you're running low on juice, okay? Uh, then if you do, you go down and it's gonna get both batteries and take it so you can start your motor. Okay, this here, make sure you always put that drain plug in because that drain plug goes straight through to the hole to the water. Porta pots right there, that goes into there. So you wash the boat, take it out, let it drain, but make sure you put that plug back in. That's another thing you need another plug for that bait tank. I better write down and I did put in uh, 30 gallons, I, I believe, of gas, the Supreme. Got the fusion that's linked into this. An FM wire wouldn't hurt on here cup holders thank goodness and let's see transom lights 